And I'm Allison Zimmerman live in downtown Colorado Springs this afternoon at Widener Field, where just minutes ago we saw the unveiling of these beautiful, beautiful murals here. This is a public art installation now, and it's also a part of First Friday today. But of course, Widener Field going to be the future home uh, in a matter of weeks, really, of the Colorado Springs Switchbacks. And I'm joined by the president of Colorado Springs Switchbacks, Nick Reagan. Tell me, how does it feel to just look at these beautiful pieces of art here in downtown? It's a little unbelievable, actually. Um, the first version of our stadium through that first sch schematic design was about half of what you see out here. So the way that the project has grown, uh, the community has, has gotten involved, um, even foundations like the, the Leroy Neiman Foundation uh, in partnership with the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum, seeing this up on the wall is pretty spectacular. Right, and I mean, if you think about where Widener Field is positioned in downtown, this is kind of breathing a, another sense of life into this neighborhood here. And this is going to be something that people can walk by and see over and over. What kind of pride does that give you? Uh, you're absolutely right. It gives me immense pride. I mean, we think about this artwork. There's other artwork on the corner that we're going to be revealing here in another month. Um, just everything that we do with our events, the, the colors, the sights, the sounds, um, all of it put together is something that we put a lot of pride into. And so you're absolutely right. Having people come by, text me, say, wow, congratulate, great job you guys are doing. I mean, it's the pride of our team and our ownership is incredible. Right, and of course, in a matter of weeks, a lot of people, as people start to get vaccinated, we start to make changes on the dial. Uh, I think a lot of people are looking forward to getting out and about. So kind of talk about being out here today, seeing people out near downtown. What does that feel like for you? <laughs> Again, it, it's spectacular. Um, you know, yesterday, Coors Field opens, you know, 20,000 people, first time in a year. And so it's just one of those things that gives us hope. You know, we did a, a pretty unique job last year. We had a thousand people in our stadium under those COVID guidelines last year and did an excellent job for half of our season. Uh, right now we have 50% capacity that we're basically allowed to have in our venue. And we hope, you know, in another month, that's gonna continue to grow. But, you know, again, it's, uh, you know, ensuring people that we're going to take care of them um, in just confidence and, and coming out, seeing groups gather, masks on and, and all. It's all fun. It's all good. Um, but it, it's, it's coming soon. We're coming out of it. 